Okay, so welcome back again and let us still continue our discussion on the geometrical ideas. So in this session, we are going to discuss about curves. Now, I think all of you might surely know what a curve is. Whenever you are sitting into a boring lecture, and you have your note by your side what do you do you generally doodle right you generally doodle so you make doodle one you make a doodle like this or you may make some figure like this again this depends on a personal preference or you may just doodle like this or you may also make something like this okay so you just doodle now these are all the examples of curves and curve generally in everyday usage means something which is not straight that is what the day to day meaning of curve means however it is important to note that in mathematics a curve can be straight it's important to keep this thing in mind. A curve can be straight. So, if I were to give you an example of a straight curve, it would be something like this. This is an example of a straight curve. This is a curve in mathematics. Now, let us try to see these a little bit more closely okay let us say that this is figure a this is figure b this is figure c this is figure d this is figure e and this is figure f now let us see differences if what ha what are the similarities between figures a b d and f what do you see you can locate the two ends of these curves. See, these are the two ends of these curves which you can locate. These are the two lengths. Right? So, these type of curves in which the ends do not meet, they are called open curves. So, let me define the open curve for you here. Open curve. are those curves whose ends do not meet. Now once we have defined open curves it becomes very easy for us to define closed curves. Yeah, and just the examples which we saw here, let me just write the examples here. Examples are figures A, B, D and F. These are examples of the clo open curves. Now examples of closed curve. So if you see the C, figure C and figure E, right? It's just not possible for us to find out the ends of a curve after the curve is drawn. Or we can also say that the two ends of closed curves are joined. So le let us define this. Curves whose ends are joined. And the examples for this are figure C and E. These are the examples of closed curves. Okay. Now let us try 
to understand one more important concept in curves and that too specifically in the closed curves so let us make one closed curve first so let us say that this is a closed curve and I call this as figure K okay and now what I will be doing is I will put three points I'll just identify three points at different locations so one point I am identifying here let me call this as point L one point I will put here I will call this as point M and one point I'll put here and I will call this as point N now what is unique about these three locations about these three point locations this point the point N is said to be outside the curve or it is also called as the exterior of the curve exterior of the curve or outside this point M here is said to be on the curve or we can say it is on the boundary okay, and then we have this point which is L this point L is inside the curve or it is said to be in the interior of this closed curve it is said to be interior so it is important to understand that a curve can have three regions outside boundary and inside and it is important to know that the boundary along with the inside of the curve is called its region so just let me write region is boundary plus the interior portion that is called as the region of a curve this or you can call it as a bound or a boundary let me add boundary this is boundary and the interior So that was our discussion about the curves. See you in the next session.